So this is the before shots of my bedroom makeover. As you can see, everything's really cluttered and there's mismatched furniture and no storage. And that's exactly what I didn't want. I wanted storage and everything hidden away. To start off with, I built my cabinets. This is what made the bed frame. It was two four box calyx units and two eight box calyx units from Ikea. I separated the longer units to line up with the wall panel of the existing wardrobe frame, as well as being able to fit a dog bed underneath for Ellie, of course. The slats that I used to stable the bed are hardwood planks sourced from a local timber yard. Make sure you sand those down because splinters from hardwood is just awful. <laughs> They had to be cut down to 135 centimeters to fit perfectly with my double bed. To fix the six slats to the bed frame, I first pre-drilled holes at each end of every slat and then screwed them down 17 centimeters apart. For this shelf that I made, I just grabbed a random plank of wood from my backyard, which was 120 centimeters by 20 centimeters, which was exactly what I was after. And there's Ellie. <laughs> All I did was take out the nails and basically this was the hardest bit only because they were really stuck in there, as you can see. <laughs> yeah. Then I went ahead and sanded the whole plank, uh, making sure there was no splinters and this was also getting ready for this stuff, which I forgot what the actual name is. So I'll leave it down below, but basically it's a paint or a serum sort of thing that kills any bugs that's inside the wood. And I really wanted to make sure I did this because the plank was going to be near my head where I was sleeping at night, so I wanted to make sure there was no creepy crawlies crawling around. Again, just make sure you sand the other side and paint the other side. <laughs> I let that dry for about an hour and a half, just make sure it's fully dry. Then my stepdad went ahead and drilled these brackets into the wall because he didn't trust me drilling and ruining his wall, uh, which is fair enough, but these brackets are from Ikea, super cheap, like $2.50 each. Make sure they're level and at the position that you want them to be. And then I went ahead and put my plank on top and made sure that it was even and in the center. Then I just pre-drilled the holes into where the screws would go. And since this is a hardwood plank, it is definitely a little bit of a mission to screw holes into it. So just be careful. And of course, make sure it's sturdy. <laughs> For the draping of the curtains, I measured the middle of the wardrobe frame, then used a towel rack to secure the draping. And the draping is from Ikea. It was super cheap, like $5 for a pack of two. And it was actually really long, a lot longer than I expected. But it was good because I could actually drape the drapes how I wanted them to be. So I just secured them with screws. I definitely think that four screws was a little overboard, so I just used two. And then I went ahead and draped the fabric all how I wanted it to and nailed it to the frame. Of course, if you don't want to use nails, you could use thumbtacks or something of that nature that's a little less, I guess, permanent or invasive. <laughs> that is it for part one of my bedroom makeover. I hope you enjoyed. I will have everything I can listed down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on all my social media and I will see you next time. Bye!